actually went. Um, so I'm just here. Got a fresh save of Golden Ring. Um, we had originally planned for this to be a co-op stream um, because I am still relatively early in Elden Ring and Ren is not. And we were going to start fresh new characters. Um, aim loud. No, I'm just, I'm acknowledging. Uh, are you there? Can they hear you on the stream? Or am I just hearing you? I'm okay. I am ta I am, I am hearing Kato. I was... <laughs> Uh, this is the character I'm playing uh, in in my actual save. Uh, I, I picked the prisoner. Um, I decided that I wanted to go with a... wanted to try and play the game differently than I play traditional Souls games, which would normally be uh, like one of these, Vagabond or Warrior, like more of a soldier type, who I guess maybe has a little bit of magic, but is mostly got shields and swords and other things. And I wanted to try and do something different. And so I was like, I'm going to go with a dex uh, uh, build with um, intelligence. And I'm going to scale the magic in that direction. Uh, well, dear uh, viewer, I have not found many dex weapons in the first 10 hours of the game, uh, which has been unfortunate for my character class uh, selection. Every time I come across a cool weapon, Oh, this scales to strength. Uh, wah. <laughs> um, uh, but I have kept the, the cool helmet. So I think for the purposes of this stream, um, might go with a, uh, a, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should go with more. How do I pick show status? Oh, this shows what they, um, uh, with. Uh, Split Infinity is no, I love doing dex builds. I don't think that is... I'm not saying dex builds are, are bad or won't work in the game. It just in my experience of where I've explored in Limgrave, in the opening area, um, I seem to be coming across, like, primarily strength uh, weapons. Um, I, I did find a nice long sword to replace my rapier. Um... It, it, it like scales well on decks um and so uh th there are gonna be options i just haven't either maybe i haven't f i haven't found them or uh, uh maybe they're just like a little bit later uh in the game um all right well ren's st still not here so uh let's see what would be the opposite of what i was doing with the prisoner it, i guess it would almost be the samurai um which has big old sword um, has bows and arrows. I've not messed with bows and arrows at all. Or you have the hero with an axe. This is like the, the Vagabond has a sword and an axe? Um, Confessor, which is usually like just a I guess this one scales along eighth. Um, but equal strength X. Uh, very cool looking. And then there's Wretch. Uh, well, let's go. Let's yeah, let's do let's do Samurai because I want to see what how like some of the archery works. Um, fame. Mm. What's a cool Samurai name? Don't know. You be a wrench. Hmm. <laughs> is. Mm. <laughs> then I don't have anything cool to start with. No, I'm gonna be a samurai. Uh, sit with like sand. Huh? Yes. True. Could be. I could be. Uh. Could be nipples. Hello, I had a situation. Okay. Apologize. Gamers, hello. Is your, is your situation okay? Yeah, my situation's fine. I forgot the water. <laughs> forgot the water? Yeah. Moving on. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, you tarnished. I'm trying to figure out. I was. I've been. I've been trying to figure out who I should play. I've. Uh, I was thinking of uh, making this character Sam the Samurai, um, but then also people 
We're saying I should I should be uh, a wretch nippled into the the, the world of Limgrave, and I, I haven't decided which path to go down quite yet. So let me pull up. Um, okay. All right, oh, Patrick's here. OK, I think I think I know what I'm going with this time. I, I refuse to give the people that power over me. I hate the people. I'm always saying this. Akato, can you ask the chat if I should be Sam the Samurai or Nipples the Wretch? <laughs> I feel like I've, I feel like I know I've just done. I, uh, no, power to the power to the people uh, is what I say. Uh, thank you. We got a bunch of subs. Uh, Concerned one gifting subs to uh, uh, Adelio Zeno, to CBC Cry. 2CB Cry, Liminal Days, DK Elva, Maddie Pros. We got Infract gifting subs to Bird Like, Whip, Bowski324, Whistling Tom, CD Jen, Bogsmire, Garcat, Alice, JC Robbins. Don't feed the Chocobo? Hey, uh, oh, man. chat. Chat, you can uh, vote now. N the wrench. Twitch wouldn't let me put nipples. In the poll, it wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't let me put. It's a regular ass body part. But yeah, I know. But conservative Twitch. That's why. <laughs> that, I mean, I'm and, and the wrench. And uh, the wrench. Also, we got Su right. Suhanki on here. Gift another ten subs to Reader Alert. Leisurely intrude. Nem ten. Number ten ox. M Dimmit. Storm Shadow rocks. Narian. Oh, Plutocrat. That's pretty good. Flyceratops. Also very good. Uh, and Crobuzon, thank you for all the, uh... I can't write nipples on Twitch, but I can enter nipples into the game and show my nipples on Twitch, is what... Exactly. Listen, that... That's feminism to me. I Sam the Samurai won! Chat chooses not chaos! You're playing, you're playing a samurai? Okay, got it. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Warrior. Um, well, because I, I was explaining at the top that, um playing prisoner in my main game um i wanted to try and push back against my normal tendency in a souls game which is i'm gonna have a big sword and a shield and i'm gonna whack them and so it's like i want to do something a little more magic-y so i went for like a dex intelligence build problem ren maybe you can make me feel better like the opening area of limgrave not a lot of dex weapons a lot of strength weapons and yeah, so i'm not finding a ton to, of options for my character i regret to inform you that dex weapons are few and far between for a little bit there i mean honestly also here's the thing you could just fuck out a limgrave like you could just fuck out a limgrave and go somewhere else and look for dex weapons i will note that i did find a pair of claws early on in limgrave that have been like my stalwart companions through most of my main playthrough i'm keeping the faith not, not the faith, the uh, stat. I'm, I'm actually putting the points into intelligence, but I'm keeping the faith in Dex that it'll that it'll work work itself out. Um, I I this time for for the stream playthrough, I am also doing a Dex ish build, but I'm going to be doing a uh, I'm going to be playing Warrior, um, which I'm very excited about. A very old samurai. Keepsake. Um, yeah, I went with the stone sword key, but I wish I'd gone with the golden seed in retrospect. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, in your main playthrough or here? Yeah, in my main playthrough. I guess I'll, I'll go with golden seed just so I can. No, I want to go with stone. I want to go with stone sword key because I want to show people what happens right away. <laughs> oh wait, so you went with stone sword key in your main playthrough and immediately went to the stone sword key? Yeah, zone? yeah, immediately went to the to the hor to the terrible horrifying opening area. Oh, see, I, that's what I was going to show off here because I haven't seen it. I, I've been told about it, but that's where I was going to head. Interesting. Ah. Uh, okay. In that case, maybe I won't go there. Well. I do like the idea of us going to the same place. Frankly, we could we could do a race down there, we and could do a race there would down be there, yeah. there would be some humor in it for sure. That would be really fun, actually. All right. Uh, Mothman Prophecy. Are we supposed to see Ren's screen too? Uh, yeah, Kato's gonna get that. Hello, He's everyone. Got, uh, I'm, yeah. Oh, look, I'm he just the character creator. Just swapped over. All right. Let's 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 really get in here.
Yeah, we want we we got messy hair in the face. I'm trying not to make someone who looks too much like. Well, no, let me show everyone what my 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 main character looks like. This is the way Zada looks. Um, this is my this is my queen uh, who I've been uh, rocking with for um, the uh, my main playthrough. Um, she's she's extremely hot. I love her very much. But yeah. That is. The brightness on my screen seems a bit high. Oh, that's probably from the HDR, isn't it? All right, I can fix that. I'm just gonna like leave this and quickly fix that system. Uh, advanced settings, HDR. No, that's over in, is that over in display? Yes, it is, HDR off. Dark circles under the under this eyes character are going all the way dark. Keep, me, keep it going. Max dark circles. Samurai has seen some shit. You know what? You know what? Actually, I'm just going to go with, I'm gonna go with Zara's sister. So let's let's get in the paint here. Okay. And her sharper features, a little bit older. Face structure. Shit on my character, all right. But I know that Mark will be there. So Retrus in the chat says, is Ren making a Ghibli character and or Ganondorf? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to hold my tongue. <laughs> that's a, that's a, hmm? that's a wild reaction to see a character with like a, a pretty normal nose. Oh, I see what... Oh, that Ghibli character. I, I was confused by the Ghibli character comment. Yeah. It's like, which Ghibli character? That is a very God. normal nose. <laughs> That's an extremely, like, normal looking, like... An overwhelmingly normal looking woman. Coreless Live, how many people can you get together in co-op? In theory, three, when the servers are actually up, right? <laughs> yes. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Sam okay. the Samurai, ready to roll. Of course, um, spent, all that, spent all that time on uh, Sam the Samurai's look to cover it up with that Samurai gear. <laughs> Alright, uh, cheeks. I'm almost done, I promise. Oh, you can take off the helmet. That's true. Secret of Cal, I feel like having an eye patch is not great for archery. Look, Sam compensated. The Sam's, uh, Sam's eye injury happened. They were very young. Uh, so their other eye, eye stronger. 
know, they figured they figured it out. Like, the, yes, depth difficult, but you know, games made it this far. Age samurai. There we go, and then I just gotta change her eye color, and that'll be done. This is just a this is a slight variation on the uh, character that I'm playing in the main game. Skin features, maximum pores, maximum luster. Oh my gosh, I she's people so are wondering if there's shiny. any world where we can see both screens at once. Is that a possibility, or are we just swapped? There we go. That's my that's my queen. Um. I, I shared this earlier. How do I? Hmm. It's like sort of breaking an embargo. Like if you were to play this game on um a different device, let's say, not your computer or a PlayStation Ooh. or an Xbox, hypothetically, if you were to, to load it up to see how Elden Ring would run, um. You, you might be prompted with uh, a, a very highly concerning screen that says you've detected inappropriate activity. Would you like to start an offline mode? And I'm like, well, are you about to ban me? Sure, I'll start an offline mode. Look at that. Look at those. Look at those sisters. It's not, it's not banned. I did, I, did, I did send a request to someone to find out if I would be. <laughs> inappropriate activity is a... Uh, interesting phrasing. All right. Oh, God. What was the name that I had a name on deck? Chat, give me a name. I had one on deck, but I forgot it. Um, Grimalda? Abra? wife, Mortimer, Lydia. Lydia, name, oh, that was a name, we almost named my oldest daughter Lydia. Uh, who's Maxim? Who's he catfish? Um, Shotgun Jesse. Oh my fucking Duck Christ. Lord William. I'm, uh, Shotgun Jesse is a, is good. I, I do, I do like that. Uh, Lydia is a very pretty name. It is. I agree, MB Plaid. That's someone, almost... someone actually put, uh, you know what? I'm going with, sorry, I have to unplug my keyboard to this. I have to unplug my controller to type. So I only have so many USB-C cables in my home. And so I do have to unplug my controller to type. But someone suggested a uh, suggestion I actually really like. I like Adelaide. Queen Queen. There we go. That's alrighty. Uh actually we're gonna make her a little bit older than her than her sister. There we go. Alright, ready to go? Sure. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit yes. Boop. Alright. Patrick and I have begun have begun the games at simultaneous moments. Uh, all right, because we're going to start in that. Oh, oh, we get to watch the most incredible intro of all time. It's fucking insane. This this, this intro has a VO in this is, I mean, you'll know when it hits. When the VO hits, you'll, you will know. There's a specific moment that I was cl clapping while watching this. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shot. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Knob up, Kato. Yeah. Can we, can we beef game audio? Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere. By the way, if y'all thought that there was too much Christian imagery in Dark Souls, I hope you're excited for Elden Ring. <laughs> I hope I hope you're so excited. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength 
Mad oh, Taint. Love to talk about the Mad Taint. Very good snake imagery there. God. From which no lord arose. I'm so ex I'm so excited. I'm so excited. A war leading to abandonment by the great. Big, that's a big guy. I like it. Oh, right. <laughs> Here we go. He tarnished. he tarnished. He dead. Who yet lives? Keep going. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Gold Mask. Gold Mask. The deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. <laughs> Be nice to him. And Sir Gideon Othmir. The all knowing. All oh, knowing. <laughs> Good. Now, if you thought. Were those the demigods that the intro was talking about? No. Dumbass. Uh, there are uh, sometimes people ask like, oh, you know, it's the game development is so s secretive. Like what, like what's one thing you'd like to be able to see behind the scenes? There's a lot of things you could choose. You know what I would choose to be in the recording booth when they record the VO lines for the Souls games? Because I would love to see what the direction is like. What the for takes the are like, I, I, like I want to be, I want to hang out with that dude. Like do it again and become. The Elden Lord. I'm so excited to become the Elden Lord. A little more emphasis on the mad taint, please. Uh, the taint part, less on the mad. I really also appreciate um, the fact that um, they they went with just a guy this time instead of going with the classic, the classic from soft voice of just like, you tarnished. <laughs> like that shit, like no. But you still get, you know, you still got your characters doing that. Um... Except my lady, everyone. Tarnished wizened finger. Oh, Patrick, you're fucking, are you already racing? Yeah, race. I'm tr I'm trying out my moves. I was gonna say, it's already going so quick. All right. Uh, Patrick, have you ever heard how to power stance in this game? Uh, oh, it's like the two hand stuff. No, power stancing. I haven't seen anything about that. To to two hand two weapons at the same time and use them like in conjunction with one another. Uh, no, I have not. I have not seen okay. anything about that. Got yet. it. Um, because they did add power stancing back, and I'm trying to remember how to do it. Wow. Because I feel like. Damn! Nice shot. Because uh, I feel like I should be able to power stance these. Well, you, in DS2, you need 1.5 times status. Uh, level 8. Uh, right. Uh, 10 and 16. Equipment. Close. Uh, da, 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 7 and 13. Okay. That's going to use it. So here's the thing, folks. The two-hand button no longer exists. It used to be Y, right? So now you like on a gamepad, it was like a triangle or Y yes. situation, wasn't that? Now what it was? you hold Y and then press the whatever button you want to hold, like whichever weapon you want to hold. So like it used to be tap Y to dual to dual wield one weapon, hold Y to dual wield your other weapon, and now it's hold Y and hit R one. So like folks, it's R one. <laughs> 
L1 for this. All right, so when I, uh, with the samurai character, each, you know, these weapons, they have called weapon arts on my screen. If you see, like, as you, like, switch between, see, like, you know, you got parry, uh, uh, mighty shot, which is, like, this big, uh, 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 big arrow that you can do. But then also, if I dual, if I dual, do, you know, I two hand this, uh, samurai sword, I could just sheath my weapon and just walk around. Cool looking. Is there, as far as I know, this doesn't help anything. Oh, I guess. Uh, no, it's a stance. Hit, uh, hit your weapon button. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it's That's a stance cool. that gives you extra moves. That's not the first enemy, folks. It's it's doing the it's doing the souls thing where it puts you up against a dude who's too strong for you. I promise. It's just, he's just a mean guy. They're fine. Whoops. I died. Uh, kind of, uh, can you uh, cut away from me for one second? I'm going to tab out. I don't think there's anything on my desktop, but I don't want to risk it so I can uh, bring up Ren's uh, dedicated stream on my second monitor. Patrick, how do you feel about Torrent? Well, you know, I'd love to be able to download things uh, freely available uh, regardless of copyright restrictions. Stupid. Fucking dumb. I'm uninstalling <laughs> from Alive. <laughs> no. Terrible. One of her, one of our kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. That's true. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. We love violating the Golden Order in this house. Is the horse named Torrent? Yeah, the horse is named Torrent. Okay. I'm back, Kato. Um. <laughs> It torrents great. Um, I think torrents too fast. It's it. Adding, a, you know, a mount seems like, oh, it's just like a faster way of getting around, but it actually fundamentally shifts like your relationship with the environment in, in the game. It's, you know, I mean, obviously it's kind of a weapon as well, but. Um, uh, it, ju it just completely reshapes how you approach or even like de-escalate encounters and how you manipulate what kind of tension you want out of the playthrough that you're having with like the time that you're spending with the game. Um, I like frequently describe Souls games as like linear tension in which you are just heading down what is essentially a hallway of like monstrous traps created by From Software. Uh, in Elden Ring, you can choose to go do things that are not the hallway, and like, what kind of experience do you want to have? You can kind of control the tension of your uh, of your playthrough at any given moment, um, and Torrent like plays into that. Um, I, I think that that fucking rules. He's just too quick for me. I wish he was slower and worse. You wish he was slower. I wish he was slower and worse. All right. Okay. So we're gonna use this key, right? Yeah, I want to use the key at the same time. So I want right, to. So you haven't you little... haven't done this? No, I have not done time. this. I have no yeah, idea. I spent too much there. time doing this. Is is what I'll when when we get down here. Uh, I I need your response to be Patrick. Why did you spend like ninety minutes instead of like going through the um, let's call it the game part. <laughs> Right. Here we go. I'm using the key. Okay. Wait, you're using... Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was looking at the wrong stream, and I was like, why is Patrick going down to the bonfire? That was me. I don't see it. Mm. All right. I've used the key. All right, Patrick, I'm going to stand at the edge of this, and you just tell me when to go. The stream? Is the stream getting it? Is that your mouse, Kata? Ow. Uh, the... This 
Okay, let's see if I do this. Go away. Still there? Fuck. What a it's weird... It's just a little radical. Oh, you, oh, you went down. Well, that's poison. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm up. barely missed that dodge. Oh, there was a guy there, too. That's fucked. That's a little bit fucked. Well, I guess I'll just kill him this time. EOS Insomnia? I agree. Sadly, graphic. Oh! <laughs> Death count. <laughs> One. Uh, like how do you might have to put death counts in the corner? U.S. Insomnia, we're working on it. Uh, so yeah, so this is a dungeon that you can hit before the game really even begins. Um, you goes well deeper than I've made. I have not made it all the way through. I really don't think you're intended to spend much time here, like early on. Um was able to get far enough, there is like a mini boss that um, fucked around with and like picked up uh, an item from, but uh, beyond that. That's this thing just c continues to pursue you. <laughs> Throughout the whole dungeon? Yes. Okay, that's really annoying. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't fuck with this literally at all. Um, Let's see. Let's see if I can get to get over here before that thing gets me. Shh, can I do it? No! Oh, God damn it! Rip Patrick. I was not able to run fast enough. If I were Patrick, I would simply uh, be better and have a stronger heart. You know. Ah. Uh. Easy. Oh, wow. I've made it across. I've made it across there before. Let's stand right in front of it. Hit me, I dare you, bitch. Why'd you slow down? Fuck! <laughs> why, why did I grab that item? Sorry, I shouldn't I have grabbed the item. For a second. I have, I I have, have, I have too it. much gamer focus. I need to just like stop fucking glaring as I play video games because I do look a little bit frightening. Oops. I can make it. Easy. Hmm. To be nice to you, says uh, your intensity is amazing. <laughs> My intensity is too fucking high. It's it's legitimately too high. Listen, I have no control over my face when I'm gaming. Oh, come on! Let me do that. Let I do that. What are the? Also, it's really important to note. It's really important to note that um, fucking you can't level up yet so like do anything you get in this fucking dungeon that's nothing for you that's that's nothing for you 
uh, until you actually get the um, uh, NPC who lets you level up. I mean, the intro is kind of annoying. You can just not do this. Like we are doing, we're doing something that is not the introduction to this video game. Let's, yeah. What did you? Uh, oh, how'd your how'd your uh, stream for the big new open world uh, Souls games go? Was, was, yeah, how did you guys spend some time? Some cool stuff in the open world. Nah, just like spent time in this poison dungeon, just yeah. fruitlessly uh, uh, running up against this weird uh, saw-like uh, device. I can just walk outside. I have that path. If Patrick wants to fucking slam his head against this, that's fine. I can just I'm gonna, walk I'm gonna outside. do this one more thing. I'm gonna get across this bridge. If I Ooh, don't, we can... The uh... jump is ambitious. Did not expect you to live that. You know what? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do one more run. If I can get past the bridge, we'll keep going. Yes! I really like the idea of, like, Patrick and I fucking... Whichever one gets further in this, it actually has to do it. Whoever gets further on this specific light, it actually has to keep going in here. Uh, fall damage comes out of your stamina a little bit, but it also comes out of your regular health uh, from like a certain height. Shit, shit, God damn it. All right, I'm done. Done with this area. Oh, that was too far. It's the second one. It's the second door. All right, whatever. Um, we both died. We'll I'm just we'll, we'll go to the. Oh, fine. We'll, fine, we'll play the actual game. <laughs> Should I? Yeah, I might. I might. Now that I've in my main playthrough, I might come back uh, here with. Uh, Adelaide's sister. But, it, it, you know, the, the fact that you can get a key that lets you access something early is consistent with, uh, you know, they, they did that in Dark Souls as well. You could get that. Uh, was it a key that, like, opened a door that you otherwise couldn't open in the opening area? I think that was how that worked. What's up, bitch? Oh, yeah. Come to the lands between Queen for the elders. I guess I don't have to talk to this person, right? They don't give me anything. No. Without guiding, you are fated. He's kind of just nice. Should we just, uh... Are you familiar? You I'm just gonna sp uh, sprint to the... To the, the horse place? Yeah, to go get my horse and level up. I'm going to I'm going to make one attempt at the at the at this dude. Oh, all right. I hey, I I you know, I don't know if I believe in you, but I admire the um courage. Jay Harkins <laughs> uh, points out um, that the Tree Sentinel takes less damage than the guy you're supposed to lose to at the beginning. Yeah, he uh, does. Which is extremely funny and true. Yeah, the Tree Sentinel is is hard. Like, it, it is meant to be a... Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a comeback later. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you know, you can do anything. I, I'm actually very excited to see... Watch a video of someone beating that opening boss. Like, because it's clearly possible. Like, there's no reason you can't. The games always account for... Uh, uh, you doing that? Yeah, we did. We did give up in the poison area real quick. Correctly. Um, all right. You know, let me let me pop this. Let me pop this a little bit closer. There we go. My mic's closer. My my mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop doing. Uh, I look like I'm gonna kill someone. Face. Um, it's easy. It's simple. Okay, that's 
That's some fun stuttering that I haven't had literally any other time I'm playing this game. I wonder if Parsec is, is being a little bit rude. I didn't work. And this game has technical issues across the board. Um, doesn't run at a lock 60 even in performance mode on the Xbox or uh, PS5. Um, PC version has some real serious stuttering issues when you have big enemies coming in to frame. They're, they're not game breaking by, by any measure, but um, it, it is something that I expect to hopefully get smoothed out in you know, some like opening week or so uh, patches. Um, uh, people that have, like I'm running on a 3070 on like a brand new PC and it had those issues. And then people who have like 3080s, um, it's like machines that sh like should be able to brute force a game that like looks oh, gorgeous, fuck. but it's... Uh, he came in. Followed you? He can he can fuck up that uh, that building, I believe, right? Yeah, he is. Well, I guess I'm fighting him. Uh, I would say 1060, um, eh, it probably will run on low settings, but the problem is um, the uh, stuttering issues. Those are going, those are still going to plague you. Um, Fun fact, Patrick, when I first came here, uh, I didn't, when do you think I bought the, uh, uh, crafting uh the crafting kit when do you think i bought the crafting kit extremely late that's the only reason you would say that yeah i bought <laughs> it like 15 hours in um don't hey folks don't do that crafting kit is like relatively useful mm. um there we go stream is stuttering a lot when i look at it on my ipad is that all remaining is that the case for you kato is it, are you noticing that I'm great. I'm the favorite. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try. So one thing I don't know how to feel about this game, there's a thing called, they have notes that kind of just tell you where things are. And I'm like not particularly thrilled. Not like, it's not like they don't tell you where they are, but they're like, hey, instead of like placing breadcrumbs around the world, there's like buy a note from a merchant. And it's it feels like getting a quest from a quest board in a way that is like kind of disappointing for a soul style game. Ah, uh, I, you know what? I, 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 I then I equate that with why are there summons in the game? It's like, I think it's part of a sliding scale of difficulty and how you want to interface with the world. I, I, I don't have a problem with them. I, I haven't used them. I you know it's, they are sort of weird. It's like NPCs, like with a note that says like, go check around the. Yeah, the, the, the objects still exist. I think that I think that the thing is that the issue that I have is that like with the, with the note system is that it feels like they're using it as a stopgap for a style of open world design that doesn't super mesh with the Souls formula or like the way that Souls games are designed. And so it's basically kind of feels like a stopgap at times. Um, yeah, I mean, I think ultimately they, as these games have become more mainstream, I think that is, I think you could apply that to like everything about the design of these games as they have, maybe not struggled, but have you know, had to find a path through. These games are now being played by tens of millions of people. Um, how do we accommodate that? What does it mean to accommodate that relative to the goals of the project? And um, agree that it's kind of an awkward fit, but I, I don't think it also takes away. It's not a quest mark. You know what I mean? It still doesn't put it on your 
map. It doesn't, uh, this is a big arrow, uh, up there. Um, you still have to read it, deduce it, um, choose not to interact with it. Also, frankly, no worse than the actual things that players leave in the environment that are frankly like just outright spoilers for like, like, thing, like, like you know, things like go do this yeah yeah so I, I i you know that is the community um but i don't know i feel like that is i don't i don't, I, I haven't taken it to be a particularly uh grave sin um seems like it's better kato should i be fighting this camp right now no no, 100% not. God damn, I thought I would do enough poise damage to break the shield, but no. Yeah. So, yeah, this whole this whole like early area is basically So, Patrick, how long did it take you to get the the bell? Get the what? To get the bell that lets you do the ash summons. Um, I can't remember. It happens later than the network test, right? Like that stuff is is doled out differently than. So, yeah, it's 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 FP. Yeah, it's focus. Um, for folks asking in the chat. Um, did you get the deal with the guy calling you? I can't see where he is. And it's freaking me. No, I. Uh, yeah, I've heard of this. I haven't really gone to this yet. Um. Again, the part of the problem with talking about Elden Ring is that like everyone's going to play this game so differently that the first few weeks of people being like, "Have you heard or seen this?" The answer is like always no. <laughs> Kata, did you say something? Damn. Uh. Noise, uh, there's auto gain control, echo cancellation, and noise suppression are all untrue. Should I make them false? Which one's false? All? All. This is this game's pretty lady who helps you. Um, sadly, in my experience, she is nowhere near as present as all of the series other pretty ladies who help you. <laughs> I um, offer you an accord. Which is like a, a, a huge bummer. Um, and like, Have honestly, feels like a weird absence from the game. They serve the two fingers. Offer of it you. I can play the role turning um yeah like one of the, the interesting notes i saw from people that reviewed the game you know and played a significant amount and frankly arguably way too much of it and their editor should have told them to not play that much in a week but that's a different conversation um but like the bloody wolf which was presented as a class in the network test is i guess just like a like a char character build yeah they're all just costuming builds. and several people were like i just never found it like you're like oh like something that was in the marketing and like really shown off as like a cool way to play the game surely i will aim path that somehow and just nope just people putting like, 60 no. 70 80 hour to a game and just not not I seeing no it no idea so i think it's just gonna about. be the case for a lot of stuff in this game that's the thing is like anything patrick says to me I'm like no fucking clue absolutely no goddamn idea what he's talking about this happened with my with a, a fellow journalist as i was playing through and i was like the fuck are legitimately the fuck are you talking about? Patrick, you, you, you got to, ha you, got to ha you know, you got to hat. You had this code uh, like five, six days before yeah. um, I was able to secure a second one. And you had an experience that Dawson has had. I have had, um, which is the weird, lonely, isolating experience of playing a Souls game before the mass majority of the world has and in a game that is our, a series that is already kind of isolating doing so where you have nowhere to turn except the dms of people you know that might also be playing is a weird experience yeah it's it's extremely strange um 
Man, I'm really sad that I don't have my little buddy. So when I played through this game uh, for my main save, oh, dumbass, um, idiot, um, I took the imps uh, as my starting gift, and those fuckers rule. I love those little guys. Um, right, I have. Oh, I got torrent. I also have torrent, and now I'm gonna go over and get the bell which for some reason is over here. For some reason, if you go to the church of, this is, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but wait, where the fuck is she? Uh, I don't know how fast you can prompt her. Got it. But like the fact that this is how you do this is insane to me, that you just have to go to this particular church at night and like just on, on sheer vibes, astounding to me. Uh, yeah, that's when one of those cool things is discovering this game doesn't, I should say, nothing is for certain. It's early. So many people are going to discover things. I've seen a, a, a fraction of what the game has to offer. But um, like the world, is it radically different b between like day, night weather? I mean, yes, you get you get some different enemy types and, and things like that, at least in the opening area. But then you will occasionally get something truly different, like there was a, a mini boss that I encountered full health bar and everything that just is is not there during the day and uh, can only be confronted uh, at what night. What the fuck um, are you talking about? Yeah, this there, guy? Uh, uh, I'll see if I'll see if I can get it to prompt on, on here. I'm doing the um, uh, that first little soldier section um, and fight like a, a person on a horse on the bridge, the bridge early bridge. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, I'll see if so. There, see, there you go. I feel like that's gonna be the how a lot of people interact with this game. Uh, Co-op stuff is not working right now. We eventually will show up at the servers are down. Um, currently. Uh, yeah, we we had intended to do a uh, a co-op run, which meant that we wouldn't have been able to use torrent, which you know, bad. But uh, I that's like the one one of the limiting. You can't summon. Uh, uh, you can't use your summoning cube, uh, your cosmic cube, um, when you're in, in multiplayer, and you also can't uh, use torrents, so you have to kind of run around. Which, come on, just let people have multiple torrents. Okay, this is annoying. These amps are my least favorite enemies in this fucking game. Um, they're great allies. I love having them as my little buddies, but... You have them as a summon? Yeah, that's that, oh. was, my, that was the starting gift I chose. Oh, I see. I did not read oh, that. That they seem delightful. They they're really good. They have really strong bleed damage. Um, Torrent is the name of our horse. Um, yeah, co-op doesn't advance your own world. Um, so the bummer is that my little um, okay, cool summoning, great. Um, servers are down. Okay. Uh, the problem is that these little imps are in like most of these fucking catacombs. Um. Most of like the catacombs I've been to have had these imps in them, and they are extremely annoying to fight. Just transcendently fucking irritating. And there are <laughs> how many of them. <laughs> that was good. Super, this super shot that the my samurai has. Uh, what the fuck? Was... Look at this guy. Yeah, it's fucking standing there like a Irritating. shit. Bye bye. Thanks. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that opened back up because the whole thing with those like things is you hit them and then they go down. I don't know why it came back up without being hit. That's irritating. Why is my game not loading? Um, I, don't, I almost don't want to sp spoil this for people because it's like a, it was like a cute discovery uh, that I made. But in in this game, uh, hold on, let me take care of. Looks like I'm having a, my first this, crash. 
these uh, skulls that are just like f inflamed. I'm not gonna tell you what they do. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. Um, it's a cute little thing. It's not that big of a deal, but like, it's it's cool enough that I don't want to tell you what it is <laughs> to people on stream. Um, I, it was one of the first things that I texted to Austin when I started playing. Both of us, both him and I just puzzled at it. Uh, and then when I realized what it was, uh, it was it was a delight. All right. Well, How do I switch arrows? Uh, it's in the menu. Uh, but you have, to, you, well, you have to do that manually? On one, no, one is on one button, the other is on the other. So one is on oh. your R1, two is on R2. Uh, so we have a small problem. Uh, I'm going to have to DC for a bit uh, because my game crashed and won't let me close it uh, because I can't see the game. I can't see my task manager behind the game Elden Ring. So okay. it's full screen me. Oh, oh good. Ah. Well, I'm so mad. I've got these arrows in me. Oh. There's a button that lets you move windows around on windows, right? Do you remember it? Uh, there is. I actually have it written down here on my is windows shift left arrow or right arrow. Oh, Ren could have done that. Oh, no. It's all right. Windows shift. What? Um, it became windows, less useful for me. Windows when and I... What? Why would, what did you that? say? If you, huh? if you, you alt-tab to the task manager, you can't see it, but you have a secondary screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you're, you're alt-tabbed alt onto the task manager, it. you, what, in Windows, Shift, and then arrow key, you'll be able to move that window over. So just keep hitting it until it's, it's off your main screen and onto the other screen. Got it. Um... That's how you can get it out of the way. Very confused. Kata was talking to Ren. I thought he was talking to me, and I was like, "Why is Kata not listening to me?" <laughs> now I'm talking to Ren. I know. <laughs> I didn't know that because you asked me a question and then started talking to Ren. But I can't. I can't. I'm not looking at a video call of us. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, there we go. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're fine. Bye. It was very good. Uh, uh, Kata, we war again. Yeah. Thanks. I got a plan. Wait for. Right. Problem with the uh, the the uh, shifting uh, display between monitors is that when you do so, um, applications will not like check to see what the resolution is of that monitor. So I was using that to like Windows 10 is r really shitty. Uh, multi-display management. One thing I will say about being forced into Windows 11 on my new computer is that it has much better multi-display management. Um, and if you tried to just like shift a window over, it would not detect that like my HDTV like could do higher resolutions than my 1080p monitors, which was uh, annoying. Ah, oh, jerk. You really go fuck yourself. Are you gonna block this? Yep. Damn it. But yeah, these imps are just irritating for me specifically because in my main playthrough I'm using fist weapons, uh, which means that they are extremely, extremely hard to hit. Um, and kind of just annoying more than anything else. Think about it. He's coming for you. Ah.
I mean, I feel so much more confident playing these games on stream than I am at home. <laughs> really? Like it's a weird inverse. Like it, that, that doesn't seem like that should be the case. So I, 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 I think I just overthink things so much by my, and then something about like being on the stream in front of people is like, just gotta do it, man. Just like vibe, just get out there, swing that sword. And don't worry about it. You know how to play these games. I think it's also the case that this samurai is like far more how I normally play these games than uh, the character I've been playing, which is more magic focused, uh, keeping my distance. Fuck, fuck, fuck off. Then keep streaming. Literally. Well, I couldn't. I had to play 10 hours by myself. All right. Oh, let's see if we can get that mini boss to show up. Is Ren still dealing with her computer? No, I'm here. Awesome. I've been I've been back for a while. He asks I've, I've been... into the void. What? I'm literally talking. Oh, Ren is back. I don't hear Ren. No. That's weird because I've been talking mm -hmm. this entire time. I can hear you. Stream, stream and this is Excuse weird. Excuse me. Yeah, good luck. He left the call. God damn it. I was like, why did my face move? Ren? Can you talk? Hi. Okay. Hello. Very he weird. can't fucking hear me. Oh, I can. Oh, you can now? Yep. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. Bye. Fuck off. Fuck you. Extremely weird. I don't know. We've had all sorts of strange technical issues this morning. Uh, all right. I'm going to see. Oh, I got to level up and then I'm going to go try and. And that uh, nighttime mini boss. Cancellation on. God damn it. Sorry, everyone. You can see my Elden Ring. See the Elden Ring you tarnished. Uh, I'm just gonna take two seconds. Uh, no, I have nothing turned on, Kato. Yeah, everything's off. So, what do you what do you think the issue is? Like, what is the issue that you are having with me? Ha ha ha! Yeah, what? <laughs> Oh, it, that's not echo cancellation. That's voice attenuation, I think, um, is what my guess is. But yeah, I can fix that. That'll only take one sec. No, I have, I have voice attenuation. I have literally everything turned off. We're back into me. Uh, OK, well, you you just pulled me up on stream. It's fine. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Look at that scary big boy. Oh, is it a horse guy? Yeah. A knight's cavalry. Hmm. I don't know where that is. Well, not great. Why did everyone have to kill my horse? I gotta fight this guy. Oh, well, I was fighting the guy on the horse. <laughs> there we go.
Hey chat, it sounds like Discord is cursed, because I just lost both of them. Did you did you change window settings during this call? No, I didn't change anything. There it's it's Discord. Discord is just having a day today. Okay. Because now you're back. Uh, I just all I did was leave and rejoin the call, so Discord's having issues. Uh right click your speaker, your head your like thing and go to sounds, right? You're on the little sound dialogue. So right click the um yeah, I'm, I'm volume coming. thingy. I got it. Uh, at the very end, communications. Communications, this... reduce the... Yeah, I see it. So, click do nothing. Yeah, done it. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Now everything should be fine when I warg back in. Boop. I mean, don't say things that you can't promise, Kato. Uh, oh, wait, everything just, will be fine when I warg back in. <laughs> yeah, you just try to warg back in? Yeah. Okay. I was in the middle of the boss fight. There we go. Yeah, was this? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Is what's still happening? Is what's still happening? No, I turned it off. Why does it seem like it's still happening? Because I, I, I promise you that I turned it off. I didn't change the setting. I didn't. There was no what setting in Parsec. He didn't say to change the setting in Parsec. I believe so. Okay. Got it. Okay, well, you didn't have to hit my horse like that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm sorry I'm uh, dying. It's because I'm trying to fix this shit. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to be cool. That guy fucked me up. Look at all those arrows inside of him. I did. I rebooted it. Come on. Okay, well, look, we were having a cool fight, and I don't need you messing with it. Fine, I'll get on my horse, too. Great. I'm swinging my fist. Whoops. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. I lost track of the deaths. They're no longer accurate. Don't worry about it. It's fine. They're gonna die a lot. True. 
probably turn you probably turn those the text off. They're not not accurate anymore. Okay, that's. Kill this guy on the horse. Yeah. All right, buddy. Our plan for keeps. The irritating thing about that, like standing. The standing up attack is that <sighs> it instantly snaps to wherever you are in like half a second, so there's no reaction time for it. It says watchdog, but it really looks like a cat. I did. He's not that big. You fight some of those pretty frequently, but that's fine. You know, you take what you can get. Okay. Don't really mess with parrying very much. Well, it's also because that there's there's barely any parrying weapons in this game, which is a bit of a frustration right. for me. Is that you can't parry, you can only parry with. Sorry, it's it's a shield based thing, right? It's not even a weapon based yeah. thing. It used to be that you could parry with claws or parry with like if you put a fist weapon in your offhand, you could parry with it, and um, you cannot do that anymore, and that's a big bummer because I generally play very parry heavy. Um, and so not getting to do that anymore uh, kind of kind of sucks. Well, someone that's bad at parrying, good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it uh, one of those weapon thingies? What's it? What are it they is, called? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's attached to like a number of shields. Can you? It's not a weapon, those? though. No, it's not. Okay. So, so the way it it's works, it's like intrinsic to the shield, or right, I guess. Right. Uh, kind of. Basically, the way it works is that the there's a certain like group of weapon arts that are... Some weapons have an offhand ability. So shields, for example, have an offhand ability, which is different from their weapon art. Um, because weapon arts are applied to what is in your main hand. So, for example, right now, despite the fact that I'm using two swords, my weapon art is the weapon in my main hand, which is different from like a weapon ability. Are you fucking kidding me? What did that guy even do to you? They're just pulling shit. I know, but like, what if he gave it to me? What if he gave you the shit? He's gonna step yeah. on your horse. Guard counters are a separate thing from parrying, yeah. So guard counters are when you block an attack and then you hit R1 immediately. Uh, and that's our R2 immediately and you do like a special ability. I can do a guard counter in this fight. The sword, that like, like slap, that forward like stab, the like timing on it is, feels broken because the hitbox stays out for an extremely long time.
Come to come. Like, no, I mean, like, this is just like a normal area boss. There are like dozens of these in the game. Like, this is not... I'm just doing it because like I was playing the video game like I play the video game to answer questions in the chat about like if killing this cat gives you an early oh. advantage. Like killing this cat gives you an early advantage in the same way that everything in this game gives you an early advantage if you kill it. This isn't like something you're supposed to come back to later. It's just annoying. I thought it was interesting, one of the uh, things I was wondering about after playing the network test was like those like mini bosses that are in these like I don't know cave dungeons like at least that's how they're kind of characterized in the opening area they're pretty much pushovers they're not super hard um that, that remains true um so she bring in a summon um and that's interesting that it stays that that way further in the game but I was wondering was like oh are these just like tuned easy because this is the network test. They want people to um, kind of futz around and not worry so much about dying. I think what's actually kind of interesting is that I do think it's another example of From Software trying to, in some ways, almost like building up the confidence of players, right? Where like when you see a named enemy with a big health bar, your thought is this is a boss. This is a big deal. Um, time to go. Th like those enemies just like, aren't that hard like if you hadn't played these games before they're still gonna kind of work you over they're not they're not entirely pushovers but i think for people who played these games before they're not gonna have that much trouble with one of them um i think it's oh fuck. uh i think it's it's almost like a confidence builder like fuck yeah i just took out a boss like i got this um then you start moving yourself up to ch up the chain of you know, more difficult encounters uh across the landscape I think I'll find a place to save. No, I'm not on PS4. I'm on PC. You're both on PC, right? Yes. Yeah, I decided to make the normally I would have played on PS5, but um got that new PC and then I got that new monitor. Uh yesterday. I managed to get the four hundred and four hundred and fifty dollar Dell monitor that everyone recommended, which was on sale for three hundred at Best Buy on Monday. Shout out to President's Day, I guess. Sorry, uh, wait, Patrick, can I get the can I get the intonation on Best Buy again? Best Buy? Just real quick. Best Buy? Best Buy? Sorry. Sorry. Apologies for being <laughs> from the Midwest. Uh, then I, I then I uh, rolled the dice Best further buy. by uh, uh, choosing to buy an open box one. They were like, we'll knock off 60 more dollars. And I was like, excuse me, I can get this for 240 Okay. Damn. Like, let's go. Um, and... And they guarantee like a warranty and stuff on it, and I could send it back if there was anything like majorly wrong with it. I mean, I was afraid that it was gonna have like a dead pixel, which is like be an obvious reason why someone would return a monitor like this. But so far, I have not noticed anything uh, weird about it. It works just fine in the 24 hours I've had it, and G Sync seems pretty cool. I don't really know what it does, but I'm told that it makes it look smooth. So I tr I trust I trust that's what it does. We cannot. Patrick deals Klepik. <laughs> yeah, 100% of a, a deals Klepik. <laughs> a deals Klepik. It's like a deals goblin. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> is that what a deals Klepik is? Holds out for the sale. That's what, that's what, a, that's what a deals Klepik does. He, he would he would have had happily dealt with his ancient 1080p monitors until he could until he could get a sale I swear to Christ I'm like competent at this video game still fighting the cat yeah the cat's really being annoying 
These are enemies I've fought like dozens of times and had zero problems with. Um, I don't know. They're just they're just they're just really annoying because their animations are really hard to read. Um, you know, if we could streaming, we could be in there. Can we do it? We have we checked? Have we have we checked the the it's not servers? Up. I think they're still down. They're still down. Um, um, yeah. Basically, yeah, the, the, the way that this fight works is um, the cat just doesn't animate before it's attacks, and so you have to read it based on, like, the particular position or stance it's in, uh, and then, like, the actual timing can be extremely, extremely disorienting. Or you get the three wolves summon, and then you just fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly, I couldn't get the summon at all yet, because, um... Because, uh, when I went to the church, she didn't spawn, because I have no idea how to actually make her spawn. I'm guessing it's just, like, X amount of time in-game, then head back there, then... It's also only at night. I've also heard of someone not getting it at all. That would be to play the game without the battle. You know, I don't. Rob can't talk about the game yet, but he had a very let's call it Rob's acne experience with a game that he is currently playing, and I could not help but laugh. For people who don't, Rob has this tendency to miss ex exceedingly obvious things in games and make his life harder as a result. Uh, I'm sure he'll tell that story soon. It was it was very good. Claimed it was half his fault is where he came down on it. <laughs> Which makes me think it's all his fault. Fuck off. Yeah! Sadly, it gives you something fucking useless. The old noble? Bridge? Yeah, the noble soul is mid. Um, yeah, I mean mid, but mid is still something without mid anything. Mid is uselessness to me. Well, I can't use it yet. <laughs> right. I, well, uh, Ren, yeah. Ren, if you um, if, if you just warp back to the church, you should be able to prompt the, the hit character. I, just, I was just able to do it. Oh, thank Christ. I'll just run back there because I'm close enough. Ooh, rainy. It also it also feels weird to not have my uh, beautiful beautiful faith build. Um, um, I miss it. So. I'm I'm almost certain that uh, the the mouse issue is because it's capturing the desktop as opposed to the game through OBS Ninja. Right. Like, yeah. I'm, I am certain that is the issue. It's probably also like paid for the faster internet. That's probably like I don't I, I assume all these things are related to the desktop as opposed to being able to just capture the game. Uh, Why would it specifically be warping back? That's spirit calling bell. Oh, look at that! Why would that be the case? Hello. You know, everything, everything's cursed today. Just you know, just can't. Whew. Look at her hat! Look at Thank that you. big hat! Very cool hat. Thanks, lady. What's her name? Uh, Renala. Big Hat Renala. Or something like that. She only shows up for this fucking moment. So yeah. So you know how like usually Souls NPCs will stick around like at least a little bit? No. The two ladies you meet at the beginning of this game just instantly disappear. Dork. <laughs> Alrighty. If I remember correct about what is over. You ended up using a lot of the cracked pots. Do you like craft in general in this game? Like, have you found that to be meaningful? All right. Well, sorry, one sec. I've been attacked by uh, vampire bats in the midst of the night. Um, so I actually only started crafting recently uh, in the game. Uh, I've started crafting arrows before boss fights. Okay. Uh, because I uh, have a really cool bow that I okay. uh, use every once in a while. It's just like a at this point I barely even use the bow in fights. It just become a fun little ritual. Mm -hmm. 
Um, more than anything else. Um, yeah, I, I'm, 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 so, I'm just curious how, how that, like, maybe that is, like, build specific. I'm, I'm just curious how folks end up using or not using that. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a requirement, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like it's integral, like, to hang the game, but that it can obviously be beneficial, you know, having to, you know, craft arrows and, and shit like that. I mean, I guess <laughs> otherwise they wouldn't, wouldn't make it missable. <laughs> definitely are not required to buy a crafting kit. Pyromancy, um... Pyromancy is, um... is, uh, all faith-based now. Um, Pyromancy is no longer, um, faith and int mixed. It's just pure faith. Um, to answer the Pyromancy question in chat. Um, I'm doing a little bit of Pyromancy, um, in... Uh, my playthrough, um, just because I'm doing a faith build, so it just came pretty naturally to just also do pyromancy. Um, but I don't use it that much. Alright, we're actually gonna have to do this seriously now. And actually take this out in a way that makes sense. What's that? It's a sneaking mission, Snake. Uh, I have a question. Hmm. Um, how meaningfully different do the, like, different biomes, like, different areas of the world... Yeah. How much is, like, Limgrave like representative? Or and everything, like, like, exploration, like, like, how... Does it just feel like you're doing another different version of Limgrave once you get out of it, or does it like feel really? I mean, no. Every different? every area looks and feels total like wildly different. Um, I could, I would, I would pop. Um... Oh, to answer the question, holding out for a secret third magic type. There is a third magic type that uses both faith and 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 also there is like that's that's literally the build that I'm doing. But also there's a third stat called Arcane. Uh, and arcane um, scales uh, is, a, is a third kind of magic scaling, but arcane is also. Uh, it's a death bird. Your. Um, what the fuck is this? Also, For you. your item Excuse drop. Excuse me? I don't want to fight this thing. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just you two. Oh! Animals joined in the chorus. Find me. Oh, you just yeah, those are got by the Rams. Oh, I haven't it's... seen that. Where the fuck are you? Interesting. You, Patrick, I've you noticed so in, much in general that I have not seen. Well, there, there, I've not seen that before. That was not me triggering that to like do a cool thing on the stream. That was. Um, I have noticed a pattern of there being bosses that only spawn at night. Um. And then uh, thus triggered in, in certain areas. Uh, bosses on bosses on bosses on bosses on bosses. What was that question about arcane? I think it was just uh, what is it or what does it do? So, yeah, sorry, Patrick. Um, asked another question. Um, so arcane is a stat that governs uh, item discovery. So the chances that enemies are going to drop items uh, is governed by Arcane. Put many points into Arcane as a result, or just sort of let the... Uh, make sure gods. you have more than 10, is what I will say. Uh, because I was playing through and being like, I have no weapons. And then a uh, fellow journalist was like, how many points do you have in Arcane? And I was like, what do you mean? And they were like, put two points into Arcane. And then suddenly my inventory was like filled with like actual items from enemies. Oh, well, maybe that'll help with my dex build. All right, I'll have to. I don't think I've, I don't think I've touched that stat, so I'll have to check that out. Night. There we go. Um, 
yeah. So arc some some there's a special like set of magic that scales with arcane. Um uh, that I have been told about because a friend of mine is doing an arcane build. Alright, stuttering, come on. I'm currently exploring areas that I haven't done in my main playthrough to be like, do I need to come here? Is that worth me scooping up all this, all these gobbly bits? The answer is yes, Patrick. The answer yes. is always yes. <laughs> uh, that's not useful for me. Oh, whetstone knife is useful, though. Um... Is there a respec option? I have not found one yet. I've actually been hoping for a respec option at some point. There, there, I would imagine there is, but yeah. Um, you can carry infinite. It's interesting there. that you haven't found that as like some sort of... Oh, like there is a hub in this game uh, eventually. Um, you get to. Um, it's, it's dog shit, but it's there. Um, there is not a uh, some sort of immediate... You can change your, you know, it is cool that you can change your look. Immediately, I've changed the look of your your character. There's just a mirror you walk up to, and it's like, yeah, whatever. Do you want to just change how your character's appearance is? Um, I think it's okay. neat. There's a late game respec. That is good to hear. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. What do what do folks want me to do? Do you want to see me storm Stormvale, or do you want me to um, go somewhere else? I will I will leave it up to people. You want to do a poll, a chat poll? Give me a chat. Poll. Okay, see so explore. All right. We can just do uh, a formal one if you want. We can also do a formal one, yeah. Also, who the fuck said that, um... No, Stormvale is not the location with the stars. Um, the, that is a, that is on the other side of the map. Um, whoever the fuck said that this game's hub area is good, fuck off. That's a lie. Um, or Stormvale or something else? No, Stormvale or... Stormvale is, like, the main, like, dungeon of this area. Yeah. So, like, I can either storm the main dungeon of Limgrave and run through that, or I can... Um... Fuck around and find out. Yeah, or I can fuck around and find out and go somewhere cool. These are... This is neat. Um, these are cool. This These telescopes are fun. I mean, do you want to go, uh, you, you can also go south, which is like an area that's not in the network test. So, so yeah. we'll play it. Castle uh, Morn, yeah. Um, I can head to Morn. I don't know, okay, can someone in chat explain to me what the reviewers said about the hub that was good? Like, what is the, what is the praise that the hub has been receiving? Because I, I have not actually, um, uh, read other reviews because I was, uh, a little bit Elden Ringed out yesterday, um, for obvious reasons. I'll kill this guy. Ah. Beast blood. Love me a little beast blood. I mean, like, the... The problem is that, like... It's fine that there, there are NPCs there, but the, the vibes of the hub... There's nothing. Like, I don't know how you would vibe with... with does the hub have good music? No. <laughs> no, it's completely totally forgettable. Like Especially that? relative to the, the highs of music and what you would expect from a hub music in, in, in a Souls game. 
that is to me like the key like the main problem with the hub is that the hub is just like it's 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 nothing it feels like it's not even there really like it just feels like an afterthought and like it's from a different game i saw uh, someone mention recently that this game was like, largely made in parallel with sekiro which that you know not sense. shocking that they would have to Oh, they don't just move from project to project. They have things working uh, alongside one another. But I think it's fascinating to think about the choices made in this game while they're also making Ekero. Fuck. Okay, I need, I need help back up. All right, this is why I fucking... I really... I, I get that some people like the uh, horsebound combat, but I am not the biggest fan. It's just... It just is... It's I wish there was a little more to it. Um, it's, like, it's functional. There are enemy types in which you really need the extra movement in order to not make it such a pain in the ass, but um, I'm with you that, like, basically it's swing fast, swing slow um it is a little bit different if you you know like you're a spell caster you can cast spells from the horse um but, uh yeah in general it's not i'm we, calling it a highlight we have not visited the hub on stream because we have not gotten we neither patrick nor i have unlocked yeah uh, there's a specific trigger for the hub that is not um, story based i guess is what i would say and then people discover that on their own what that what that means yeah it's it's not it's i don't know i'm i'm so vehemently against the hub in this game there are not specific mounted weapons to use um which would have helped right like if there was there's no customization of the horse there's no um most of the time i'm fighting on a horse i just wish i was fighting on the ground um you're not like investing any special abilities torrent um Wow, this is... I did not discover this area in my playthrough. All right. My playthrough. As though, as though this isn't my playthrough. It's like my parallel playthrough. Yeah, I'm... I would... I can I can pop into the hub area on my other save if people want. If I can just... If you just want to see it, I can, like, show it off. It's like, I won't show anything spoiler. I'll just show literally what it looks like. Um, let me just... Well, have you met, um, have you met the pop boy? Uh, yeah. The big guy? Yeah. You, you, can you summon little pop boys? Is that, no, is that a good... that's not no? immediate. No, he doesn't, like, immediately give you that. You've gotten it? No. <sighs> what the point is the point I, of this game, then? I met him. I didn't say that I continued the quest line. I can't summon my little pop boys. Off. Ooh, this looks, um... Alright. We're not doing this. Locked by some contraption. Alright. Skellies! This skeleton stay dead? No. Skeletons do not like to stay dead in this game. No, you just have to hit them again. I mean, it's better than previously, where you had to, like, find the guy who was still reviving them. This time, you just kind of have to hit them when they're down once, and then they're gone. Really? Is that how it works? Yeah, you just have to hit them down. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, then I probably shouldn't have spooked alive, like, nine of these skeletons. I don't think this is going to help my cause. A okay. lot of, there's a lot of skeletons. Skeletons are fucking me up. Fuck, am I dead? So you're like vanquishing their souls. Wow, wow. all right. There we go. All right, Torrent, come here. Oh, Thanks, that is, that is a missable, missable mechanic. Not sure I would have actually guessed that. Yeah, they just start glowing and then you just hit them. When they Not die. know that. I think when, like, 
Austin and I were playing the network test. We're like, I don't know, maybe you need like some sort of holy magic. And I'm no. like sitting there like casting holy spells over the bones. Like they just keep coming back. You just got literally just have to hit them. Are you fucking kidding me? The spirits don't have skill trees, they do have levels. Um. The pot boy had a skill tree. What kind of skill tree would the pot boy have? Rolling Big pot skill. boy, bigger pot boy, biggest pot boy. You have a rolling stat. Plus two rolling. Yeah, the spirit summons are extremely useful. I would say that, um... Uh, I would say that the spirit summons are, like, basically essential to playing the video game. They don't feel, um... You know, like, in when I've played uh, previous Souls games, like, I, I try my best to not, like, summon a... Uh, you know, like, the summon sign that is right there. I try to do the boss on my own. It feels like the games are tuned that you can totally do that and they don't need um, sort of character with you. And obviously, I'm sure that's probably true here with the summons. You could, but boy, the game does feel tuned to expect that you're doing that. Yeah, this that's and like that's I would say a major difference is that like they this is built for you to be using um, the little buddies to help you. And like co-op is optional, like co-op is optional. But I would say that like the little buddies are basically not at that point. At this point, um, they just like every single boss feels like they're built for it. Um, I am We've been using it. summons like NPC summons in addition to like the spirit summons. Or are you are you strictly no. stick? Okay, so just the I've, spirit summons. The level so that would require me to have like seen a lot of NPCs. Um, some of the bosses, some of the bosses just have like the little yellow sign in front of them, right? Patrick, you're expecting me to have fought a lot more traditional bosses than I have. Okay, all right. Um, like, that's the thing is that, like, the, in levels, maybe, but, like, I have... They're few and far between. Sure. Um, you know, even in my, like, even against the boss that I'm fighting in my, like, main save. I'm also going to show off around table hold real quick. Um, in my main save, it's, like, kind of... I have not seen many summon signs on the ground. I've seen one. There was one fight uh, where I saw them. Um. All right. Okay, sure. Skeleton's got spooky yellow eyes. Stay away from me, spooky skeleton. Your bullshit. Oh, they don't. They don't. They don't. That doesn't. That doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work happen. that way in this one. Uh huh. He just said spooky yellow eyes. Okay. Uh, I caught on there. Welcome to Round Table Hold. I fucking hate this place. It's mid. I am sure that some people like it greatly. Um, attack button. Uh, attack button uh, opens doors. Um, like this. This room is cool. I like this room. Um, this room is neat. This is a lady who you can cuddle with. Um, Oh my god, you have to show the cuddling. Okay. It's fine. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, would you like to be held regardless? Yeah, let's see. So good. Very well. Lovely game. I love lesbians. Couldn't the doll hold me in? As a deathbed companion, where I come from. 
I haven't actually seen this. I love how slow that animation is. It's so, so slow. I mean, it's, it's still so going. extraordinarily long. It's yeah. incredible. Um, That's great. Also, this is uh, this is the character who we just made. This is her sister, Adelaide. This is this is this is Zara. This is a, this, she is she is a wife to me. Let me take off her. Bed. And his wife said he to me. Um, yeah, no, I um, just to just to like actually, I'm gonna hop down this this little room and like do a quick little show off of some little things that are not spoilers. But um... here we go. The claw move set is actually very fun. I am, and it also You're doing has the blade brush. Whoa, that's neat. So this yeah, little dodge this... has iframes. Um, the claws were dex too, right? Yes, claws are dex. Um, Would you get those claws? <laughs> but marker, take me to it. Take me to those claws. Yeah, I'm build... much further in the game than I am right now. Let me pull this up. I'm level 47. I've got 20 dex, 31 faith. Um. Uh, I'm trying to get my strength up so I can hold. So I can hold. Where is it? There we go. This, which is my tree spear, which is a great spear, um, which is pretty fun. Damn, that's a whole ass tree. Ooh. Also, this is its um, this is its uh, weapon art, sacred order. Oh wait, I don't oh. have the mana for it. <laughs> Here. This, this, Give me is that. A, this is a slight mechanical spoiler. Don't look. You can look, I don't know. It doesn't you you don't you don't know what's happening here. There we go. Whoa. So that is Sacred Order, which is the uh, thing that this spear does um, makes the spear glow. Sacred order skill: the sun perform a salute and grant the armament holy essence. Highly effective against those who live in death. Um, nice. So now I can actually wield the spear um, with my um, because I used that item. And then I also have. This, which I'm not going to explain what this weapon is, but I do have these. I will not explain <laughs> what these are. It is cool as hell. It's so fucking sick. Uh, what else do I got? Oh, I got this cool bow. Wait, whoops. This is my bow. Um, can I see my big man? Oh wait, I can't bring my big man out here. Um, this is my cool bow. And this is my, do I have? No, I don't have my wizard, I don't have my magic uh, equipped right now. Um, but yeah, I can I can show some more stuff uh, that is like just not spoilery. Uh, da, 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 da. Patrick, how's things on your end? Killed an assassin. Oh, Good. you get the assassin's dagger. Did 
That is one of my favorite early game items. Uh, that was like the core of my dex build for a really long time. Is it an actual equipable weapon? No, uh, it's a talisman. Oh. Critical hits restore HP. It restores a lot more HP than you would think. So every time you get a backstab or every time you prostrate break and then crit an enemy, uh, you get HP back. Uh, and so if you're using a dex build, uh, it is extremely, extremely good. Right. I'll have to come back. I'll, have, I'll come back here with my dex build. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't done this in um main playthrough. Um, and we should probably actually work towards wrapping up because we got to eat lunch. Oh, and then, shit. We have to record, record a fucking podcast. podcast. Oh, yeah, a fucking podcast? Yeah, we gotta God damn it. Talk, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about a theme deck. We got to talk about, and about this. Witch Queen. Um, I don't know. I presume Rob will have things to say as well. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, we got to uh, move towards that uh, too. Uh, so I don't know. In these last couple of minutes, people have any questions that we could answer before we wind down this stream? Um, I think, you know, we're going to do a big segment talking about Elden Ring on the podcast. I think there'll be sort of like regular dedicated segments in the podcast going forward. And then we've, we've, we've talked about doing a kind of like big Elden Ring ass towards the end of March. I presume I will still not have finished that game at that point, but um, we will we will do something that, that doesn't allow Elden Ring to like totally take over the podcast. Um, so we want to, you know, make sure that people you know this stuff going on too. It's not all we're going to be playing and talking about, but obviously we're are very excited for this game. Um, and Kato hasn't even started playing it yet. Uh, was that your Kato? Was that? <laughs> that didn't. I don't think I can hear you at this point, but Kato is just making grunting sounds. Um, I want it. I want the video game. Enhanced Talisman Enhance, enhances attacks on horseback. Uh, Drow uh, Gamer, would you recommend the game if you never played a Dark Souls game? How do y'all feel about that, that question is, that keeps um, coming up every single time someone talks about it? Let's come up, because I yeah. think people feel left out. They would like to play the big game that everyone is very excited about, and I think that is a understandable feeling have like it's it's it stinks to be like oh why am i not into this game that so many people i know like are into i think it is like holy fuck what's up who is this <laughs> oh yeah it's a big guy it's a big guy what, <laughs> what are you doing here no no <laughs> look at who that are big, you, man? big man Is this one of the guys from the trailer? Ooh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> um. I don't know that people that play these games and like them can answer if this is accessible to newcomers. I think that's like not, not a question answerable by people who like these games. Um, it also makes like the first wave of reviews kind of functionally uh, not really helpful to, to that type of audience because a lot of people playing this game are really Souls fans. I think it does a lot of things that can make them more, ex you know, accessible in this. In, I, I mean that strictly in the sense of like games are too hard for me, not in the I, I wish this game had a lot of parameters I could adjust for folks that um, need to be able to functionally play these games differently. Uh, game does That's not have fun. that. <laughs> these games are uninterested in that kind of accessibility. But, uh... I think a lot of people are going to buy this game as their first one, hoping it's, it, it could be their entryway into it. I just don't know if it's true. Killed that big guy. Nice. Congratulations, Patrick. I'm so proud of you. Uh, Hawkeye 70, have you found there's miserable content due to the world state changing? Uh, I, I've shown some mini bosses that only appear at night. Uh, Ren, you could probably speak to whether world state influences stuff meaningfully later in the game. Um, I have, I've pr definitely, I'm sure I've missed NPCs. Like that's, that's without a doubt, I have missed NPCs that I will never be able to like check out or like see what they were doing. 
Um, night seems scarier in this than dying light. I don't know. The nights aren't particularly frightening to me. Um, they're pretty, yeah. Um, but you no, know, I haven't really seen anything that was like. That was like, oh, uh, this whole area stopped working. It's usually just like your standard. You're gonna miss NPCs. Um, There's like a lot of quest. Thing. A lot of quest lines are probably tied to yeah world state as opposed to. Um, you know, if, if you're interested in that stuff, obviously that those can be things you can miss. But I, you know, part of playing a Souls game, especially your first time, is just know, knowing you're going to miss all of all of the quest. You know, all of the quests until yeah. you can like look them up and see how to follow them in a in a second playthrough. Um, and then maybe that's gonna maybe that's gonna do it for kind of big first look at uh elden ring um streams brought to you the fine folks who watch the stream and others who sign up waypoint plus the reason we're able to do these streams uh for everybody is because people subscribe over at waypoint plus com um so if you're not a subscriber that's cool if you are thank you for your support D directly led to things like Ren being able to join Waypoint. That that does not happen without the subs, straight straight up. Um, so thank you for that. Um, you can see the archives for videos like this immediately at twitch.tv slash Waypoint. They go up pretty fast now with wonderful photography thumbnails um, at youtube.com slash Waypoint Vice. Um, you can follow our work on Twitter at Waypoint. You can follow me personally at Patrick Klepek. And where can people follow you? Which one of us? There's two of us. You're talking to me? Yes. Okay. You can follow me on Twitter at Ren or Raven. How do I do you want to po poke your voice in? Do you want to yeah. you gotta do it yourself? I'm here. I can't I can't do that. Okay, all right. At a underscore Kato underscore appears. Um and let's see. So rest of the week we have uh this, the podcast we're going to record uh, after lunch. That'll go up Monday or Friday morning. Uh, we still don't know what we're doing Friday afternoon. Uh, we'll do something. It'll be cool. Don't don't worry about it. Um, then that'll be it for this week. But uh, happy Elden Ringing to all who participate uh, this evening. Happy Elden Ringing to those who have convinced themselves this is the Souls game they'll finally get into and are going to purchase Elden Ring tonight because of societal pressure. Uh, hopefully it works out for you. But uh, we'll be back with another stream tomorrow. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Yeah, thank you. Godspeed, gamer. Something you want.